What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 54540 TV in the building. Here's another mechanic video on my Audi A4 2008. This also goes for the Volkswagen. The issue I'm having is my mass airflow sensor needs to be replaced. So today I will be replacing my mass airflow sensor with a new sensor. All right, so here's how I knew that my mass airflow sensor was bad. Uh, I was driving it and my car all of a sudden died out. So when I cut it off, cut it back on, it was running rough, idling hard. And so what I did was I went out, popped the hood, went to the mass airflow sensor, unplugged it, tried to crank my car up and it ran fine. I also got a code P108, which is the mass airflow sensor on code. Again, the fix was me unplugging the sensor. And so if you're in an issue where, you know, you gotta make it home, just unplug the sensor and your car will run fine. Um, of course, you know, you're gonna get a code if you haven't thrown a code already, as far as the airflow sensor being unplugged or not functioning correctly. So today we will be replacing the airflow sensor with a new sensor. And we will get a startup just to make sure that the car runs like it's supposed to run. Um, once you're doing this, Doing this repair, hopefully that you have a code reader where you can erase your codes. If you don't, the code will erase on its own at the time of you driving your vehicle and your computer noticing that, you know, your airflow sensor has been replaced with the working one. So we're gonna go under the hood and I'm gonna show you how to replace your mass airflow sensor. All right, we are under the hood of the Audi and this also does work for the Volkswagen um so they're pretty much all the same vehicle pretty much so in order the way to get to the mass airflow sensor which is right here the way to get to it is we have to remove this part here and there are two screws holding that together here we don't have to remove this one so we're going to get to the screws right there these two screws i don't know what that screw type is but what i did was i got some pliers and just turned it and loosened it up. Um, so that's a good, I guess, alternative. If you don't have that, just get some pliers, turn a screw, and it'll loosen right up. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this here. We're gonna grab us a Phillips um, screwdriver and we're gonna take these screws out to remove this off. And again, we're gonna leave this on so that we can get clearance to the mass airflow sensor. All right, so we're gonna tackle these two screws here. I just went and got a little flathead, something that'll fit in there. Um, as you know, I am a one-man band, so I will be holding the camera. Trying to get some good camera angles for you. So that one's off, unscrew actually. Again, this is holding this part here. This is a pretty easy fix. I mean, anybody can actually change this mass airflow out. So we got the two screws out and we are gonna put them somewhere that we won't forget. So I'll set them right here. So remove that part out, it'll come out of there. You can lift the whole piece out and it does need to be replaced. So I'll replace that in the near future. So now we have clearance to our mass airflow. First thing we are gonna do is remove the plug. And sometimes this plug is very hard to remove. So if you get a flat head and push that tab in, that tab will press down and then you'll be able to remove the plug. All right. All right, so I've already loosened these screws here. Again, I did not know what kind of screw that was. So if you do know what kind of screw that is, uh, hit it in the comment section so that everybody else will know the size and the type of screw it is. But I did already unloose it. So it's already that screw there. And that screw there. So we're gonna put those in a place that we will know where they are. The next thing is just taking your mass airflow sensor out. This is exactly what it looks like here. 
There's your part number. In case you need to cross reference. And again, this part does fit for the Audi and it does fit for the Volkswagen. So you're able to kind of use parts for both vehicles. So this is no good. So we will trash this. Our next clip is gonna be us actually installing the new one. And it's gonna go in the same way you took it out, just like that. Cause if you put it in this way, your hose won't line up. And you see that oval part there and then the box here. So it does go in this way, where that corner there is going in there. All right, so you can't go wrong. There's no way you can go wrong with this repair. All right, so let's trash this and let's grab our new part here. So here is our new mesh airflow sensor. All right, let's do a slight comparison. So our new mesh airflow sensor here, our old one here. Everything pretty much looks the same. Well, it is the same. So the model numbers are the exact same. Everything lines up like it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and grab our mesh airflow sensor. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Again, uh, make sure that your hose line up like they're supposed to line up. So they are lined up. Let's grab our two screws here. And I am gonna just put them in there to get them in there and then I will tighten them. So let's go ahead and just screw them down as much as possible with our hand. And again, with the correct tools, it will be a whole lot simpler and a whole lot faster. So don't beat me up in the comment section, you know. I know how YouTuber trollers are, trust me. I got videos well over 20K and a lot of people, it was a half the comments were trollers. So I do not respond to, um, I try not to respond to uh, people being disrespectful or just people trolling, you know. But all um, ideas and comments of positivity are welcome. My thing is, if you have an easier way of doing whatever repair I'm doing, or I missed something and you need me to kind of tell you again, just let me know and I will go and comment or send you a video. Um, and you can find me on IG at 540TV, but make sure you subscribe to the channel, 540TV here on YouTube. And so we got that in there good. So the next thing we're gonna do is put our um, part back up here and then screw the screws back in. Again, I am gonna replace that because obviously it does need replacing. I don't think it causes any issues as far as my vehicle, but I'm going to replace it just to make sure that um, everything is functioning properly like it's supposed to and there, there's nothing causing any issues. Sorry for that little slight angle there. You know I'm a one man band. I do everything on my own. So I got my tripod. All right, so we got that on. I'm gonna make sure that's in there. Next, we're gonna bend it down a little bit to make sure this goes in like it's supposed to. All right, so now we are gonna grab our mesh airflow sensor connector here. 
You can hear that pop noise to know that um, it snapped in really good. All right, so now let's go to the inside of the vehicle and let's make sure that it runs like it's supposed to run. I do have a couple other errors that I'm working on, so there'll be later video videos. So let's check it out. All right, so it is running like it's supposed to, and it is cold outside. So um, as you see my temperature, you know, really cold. So this, it runs like it's supposed to. So I am happy with the repair. Hopefully that this video did help you um, with your vehicle. And you know, if you did like the video, make sure you do like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on IG, Snapchat, Instagram. Facebook, all at 540 TV. Thank y'all for viewing the video, and I hope y'all have a blessed day. Peace out.